Hey guys, I'm Kim with InStyle. I'm here with celebrity hairstylist Julian Farrell. And today, he's going to cut our editor Jane's hair. He's going to do his signature $1,000 haircut, and I cannot wait to see what it's like. <laughs> Is it exciting, yes. right? Yeah. Well, the main thing of why the people's coming to see me and why the people's coming to do those kind of haircuts, it's usually because they do want to grow their hair. And the problem is they grow their hair, but at the same time, they have this kind of boxy haircut and they want to have a style while they're growing their hair. At the same time, why the price so high? It's because, <laughs> no, it's true, it's but there's, there's a reason. It's because we're going to cut every single split hand and that's going to allow you to get two haircuts a year. Mm -hmm. So if you take the value of $2,000 and you bring it on 12 months, that doesn't come that expensive. Yeah, that all like evens that. out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, but they, you know, for that is like, the way we're going to cut the hair is like, I work like an architect. So every hair has to match the other one. And that's the only way to have the hair who can grow six months and who's going to give you phases. And every single month you're going to have a new haircut a new style, but you're always going to stay in style. That's <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> That's perfect for today. So, so let's get started. What's the first step? So the first step is uh, Kim arrives. Her hair is, uh, you know, flat. And the problem she has is she go home and she's fighting every single night when she wants to go out to get <laughs> a shape into it. Yes. And uh, you can get a great haircut if you don't have a great foundation. Uh, you can get a great style, sorry, if you don't have a, a great foundation. And the haircut is your foundation. So the first step will be, like, if you will be in a salon, we will start to actually restore your hair. And restore why? Because we have creating that products who does not lather, mm -hmm. and it's a trend one. That means it cleans condition, and for the first time, we hydrate your scalp. What many people don't understand is... The beauty of the hair doesn't start from that part here. It starts from the scalp, just like a garden. You're not going to have a beautiful hair. Uh, you're not going to have beautiful flowers if you don't have a great soil. And this is what is very important. Everything starts at the scalp, and that's why we have creating restore. So we will start with the restore, what you use just like a shampoo and, and conditioner, but it's instead of that, that one process. And from that part, that will give us the base to start it. And what is giving you is uh, more shine, mm -hmm. lifeless, uh, like weightless, mm -hmm. and it gives you the most you what you need to give back the use of the hair. So for Jennifer, who is 23 years old, <laughs> she doesn't have that need. But for her uh, client or her uh, aging actresses, they need the volume. Yeah. And they need the life and the, the use back into their hair. So after that, on the hair wet, that's when we start designing the haircut. And I think we're going to start right away because I think you have... I have <laughs> yes, talk, so take a I good look talk, at the before because the before enough, is about to be gone. And that's, yeah. I think, what many people arrive, they have this thing where they, they, they have their hairs grow, it's hard to manage, and then they have a little bit of layer in the front, but it doesn't work. So we need to do something stronger, yes. something sexy, and something is going to make, you know, uh, great hair again. <laughs> Ready for my great hair again. <laughs> All right. So, Jane, what's the main concern with your hair now? What were you feeling well, that right prompted now, this? Well, it's very flat. I have no layers, like a little in the front, and I just need some liveliness in my hair again so mm -hmm. that I can style it better for when I go out. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. So I'm excited to see my hair transform after this. It's going to be great. <laughs> when was the last time you had layers? Um, not Good for layers. a while. <laughs> not for like a year now, I guess. Because my last haircut, I got it cut flat with no layers, which was a mistake. <laughs> well, but at least there's no risk. That's there's also no the risk. thing. Yeah. Like when you get to uh, someone to layer your hair, then you need to make sure you know what you're doing. You know exactly the way you're going to layer it. Yeah. Because when it's cut, there is no way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, after you, you wet it a little bit, and you made the hair wet, then we're going to start the cutting. And 
and typically if, if a client is coming to see you for this signature haircut, how long um, does it typically take? About an hour. About an hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, a, the haircut and the bro dry, and typically the, the bro dry, I don't always do the bro dry, but like on, uh, on Jennifer, what is more uh, a junior, he will, he will, you know, junior haircut and mm -hmm. junior hair, he will, go, he will go way faster. You know, you still have people where you have to really work the hair, put the rollers, that takes some time. Right. Some people have more damaged hair than others, right? Damage and also finer hair or, you know, uh, damaged hair. Oh, and right. that's the problem. It's like when uh, you're 23 years old, your hair is beautiful. <laughs> but as you, as you grow, just like her skin, her, 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 her scalp is aging and her hair is aging. And that's why we have created Restore. And what we always say is during the week, especially in America, when people actually... Uh, walk out or exercise every day, they wash their hair every day. Mm -hmm. And washing your hair is really bad. So what we always say is restore every single day during the week, the weekday, because when you restore your hair, you actually hydrate your follicle mm -hmm. instead of just damaging and taking away your, your nourishing oils. And uh, on the weekend, detox with a shampoo and conditioner. It's almost like you, you're re- uh, um, you go a little bit deeper into it, but this is a gentle cleanser. I'm going to stand you, and we're going to start the process. All right. <laughs> so, what do I, why do I stand? It's because when you stand, already your, 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 your two feet touch the ground at the same time. Where usually, if you start to be sitting, sometimes the head is not always straight and someone who read a magazine or is on the phone it's uh it's uh oh, it's, right, it's, it's way your legs it's exactly it's way mm -hmm. as soon as you cross your your legs automatically your uh, your body is sh is, sh is uh, shifting i always do that yeah me too. <laughs> i'm guilty of that yeah i shift around in my seat when i get my hair cut I yeah get i know same <laughs> But standing, I'm like forced to be super still. Don't move. Ah. <laughs> it's all right. So I usually cut an end knee to make sure like whenever uh, everything is, if it's ever broad dry very straight, you don't have anything coming out. Mm -hmm. And that I think we see that quite often into, uh, into, into the haircut. Like your, the hair looks great and then you comb it through and you, make, you get a very flat iron bro dry and then you have pieces coming through. So it's very important to uh, take care of those hair. Uh, at the same time, you don't want them to make too short because if you want to put it up, you don't want them to, to have right. a disconnection. Yeah. <laughs> so we do what I call the foundation. That means we just cut the tips of the hair as when they come for a power haircut, our customer wants to grow their hair. So you're not there to take off, take away a couple of inches. You're here to just reshape, readjust, give a line who's gonna be able to grow nicely. Yeah, that's a big request always. I think for women is how do I grow my hair out healthy without the split ends and, you know, sometimes the hair just stops growing if it's in bad shape, right? So you have to create a healthy... As soon as the hair is split, they basically... It breaks they, off they and break then it off. doesn't grow any longer. So then we're going to get your profile of your hair and then we're going to just adjust the back to the front. The most active haircut I've ever done. I'm telling you, it's uh, getting a haircut is exercising with me. <laughs> I had a doctor who only believed about exercising for everything. You're not doing well, go to mm -hmm. exercise. <laughs> I don't love working out that much to wow. get my remedy. <laughs> wow, you're not part of this American cult. No. <laughs> not yet, she's still young, she has time. Yes. <laughs> So we do the same on the other side.
So how long have you had your salons in New York? So I came in 1992 in New York for a year to learn English. And my parents always say it's been a long year because I never went back. Mm -hmm. So I start uh, in 92 and I opened my first uh, salon in 2001. And uh, after we opened in 2009, we opened Mexico, then we opened uh, Fifth Avenue in 2010, then we opened a line of, uh, um, we opened uh, uh, in 2012 uh, Miami, and then we went to uh, um, 2011, we opened the products company in 2014, we, we uh, opened our flagship at the Regency, uh, Lowe's Regency Hotel. In 2014? In 2014. So this That's one. That's a beautiful salon. I've it been is. There. Gorgeous. It Makes is. You want to never leave. <laughs> That's why you work all the time. Because you're happy to be there. It's, it's bright. And uh, it's just a beautiful space with a wonderful team. Uh, uh, of talent and people. So here, here the problem. Like now we have down the base, what is normal, okay? And now you have the problem where you have some layer here, you have no connection between this part and this part, or this and this one. Mm -hmm. So Jennifer, every day, is going to fight. And that's where we <laughs> suddenly start to change a little bit the shape. No more fighting. No more fighting. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't mean we're going to, uh, you know, when you do a layer, and this is what many people does, they start to layering this part, and then they address this part this way. So then you start to have some short hair here, and then you leave the hairdresser and you look amazing. And you go home, it's like, oh, my God, what do I do? Because your hair feels like it's all stringy. And you can't fix it. Mm, and, can't that, it. and that takes a long time. So instead of layering, that's what I always say, this way, we're going to lay, layering coming from the short part to the bottom as a very nice uh, graduation. Mm -hmm. And that's what allows you to the, the hair to grow. So they can go here and here because the layer will grow at the same time. I see. That's all right. Enough talking. <laughs> How often do you uh, wash your hair? Every day. You see? Yeah. Uh oh. I know I'm in trouble. Red flag. <laughs> I my hair gets really greasy, so I don't and, know. And here the problem: the more they get greasy, and the more you aggress them with a sh with, yeah. with a shampoo, yeah. and the more they're gonna secret. It's like a defense. Yeah. yeah. So it's a cycle. Mm -hmm. I know. I need to. It's okay. We have some this new cut. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> we we have a solution. <laughs> this is the solution. That would be for you. Oh, great. <laughs> so you see, I didn't uh, thought about that, but this is where the people don't, don't understand. Is the, more, the body is so made to um, react on a, any kind mm -hmm. of aggression. That means like if you, if, if you take away my, uh, my over sebum, I'm going to produce just more. So you, ha you have to rebalance suddenly the... Um, the pH. Mm -hmm. So as you see right now, we start to do a light connection between those short pieces we've been cutting and the bottom here. And the last haircut was in November for uh, Jennifer, just to mention. So that means like it's been about four months she haven't get any, any hair uh, haircut. Mm -hmm. But as I said, the layer is very important. So now you have down what we call the frame. 
That means you have done your, your, your outlook. Now we have to create the rest. How does it look? <laughs> so far. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. You All know. right, so we're going to take a short break, and Julian's going to continue doing his magic, and then stay tuned shortly for her final look. <laughs> Bye, guys.